Hi, good afternoon. It's Melanie here. Sorry I'm a couple of minutes late for those of you who've been waiting patiently. Um, just say a couple of logistical issues at home. And if those of you um, mums who are working from home, have children at home and are still trying to navigate this end of lockdown period, I really feel you. I know exactly um, what you're going through because I'm going through it myself right now, which is why I'm a couple of minutes late. But anyway, um, I'd just love to know those who you who are watching can you just hear me okay can you see me okay just give me a quick thumbs up or a heart just let me know you can hear me okay um um i'm just going to carry on unless i hear otherwise so i um, hope you're all well having a great day wherever you are and if you're watching on replay um let me know i would love to know actually all of you watching in right now where are you tuning in from in the world right now Let's get a little bit of audience participation going. I'd love to know where are you in the world so I can give you a quick hello as well. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Gemma. Thanks for letting me know that you can see and hear me okay. So, um, reason for this Facebook Live today is I wanted to talk about vision boards a little bit more. Now, those of you who've been following me for a while know that I love vision boards. I have been creating them for myself. I started using them probably nearly 10 years ago now and then I started doing workshops nearly eight years ago where I literally just at that time I was a holistic therapist doing one-to-one -one Reiki and reflexology treatments and I then just started to get some of my existing clients together and I'd say you know I've heard about this thing called vision boards would you like to get together as a group and um, they're a great manifestation tool they help you bring things into your life through this um, visioning process and that's how it started literally my existing clients we got together and we created vision boards together so I've been developing the process I've I added tapping into the mix a few years ago and I have just continuously refined upgraded and now I'm kind of on this kind of cusp of overhauling the process completely. So, um, hi, um, Gemma, Carly, Eileen, V. So we've got, sorry, got a UK strong contingent today. Um, thank you for joining. Um, so a lot of people have heard about vision boards. If you follow me, if you're into personal development, into the law of attraction, then you've probably made one yourself. And I know lots of familiar names here. If you've made one, um, again, just say, um, just I'd love to hear, have you made a vision board or no, you haven't made a vision board? Now, um, I have had a varying degree of success with my vision boards and I've been kind of starting to unravel, you know, why do some things manifest quicker than others? Why do some things take time? And why are some things really, really stubborn? Why do some things just sit on your vision board year after year after year? And, and I think I've cracked it with um, some of the work I've been doing with my members community actually, and lots of familiar names here are um, in my membership group. And this is stuff that I've been talking with them over the last few months. Um, which leads me to talk about the transformational neural technique process, which I've developed and I am kind of officially launching with this vision board, this new vision board course that I'm launching next week. So I will tell you a little bit more about that in a minute because I know lots of you've got questions about this new program that I'm launching. You know what is transform what is transformational neural technique what on earth does that have to do with vision boards and how is that going to help me manifest more health wealth happiness and success into my life because let's face it they're all things that we want so i'm going to go through um the five most common reasons why i think most vision boards don't work and i'm going to tell you a bit about my tnt process Note the name of it, TNT, TNT, also known as dynamite. We'll be, I'll be talking, telling you why that is really not a coincidence, why um, TNT and vision boards are all going to kind of come together. So bear with me, stick with me. It, this is, at the moment, imagine this Facebook Live a bit like um, a jigsaw 
and as I speak the jigsaw pieces are going to come together so hopefully this will become more coherent and make more sense as I as I um, come along um, so um, yeah, so Eileen and Carly have both made vision boards. So great, and I know you're with me on this journey. So I am going to be sharing with you um, the latest upgrades and you know what we can do to manifest our goals and dreams even faster. So right, let's move on to step number one as to why most vision boards do not work. Now, and it's this simple reason. Most people wake up one morning and they decide, I'm gonna make a vision board and there is no prior preparation and there is no clarity on what you actually really want. There are lots of things that you think you want, but um, you've decided to make a vision board. So what do you do? You go to the news agents, you get your hands on some, some nice glossy magazines, perhaps you get home and garden, country living, you'll get Condé Nast Traveller magazine, uh, is any of this ringing a bell? Um, you'll get possibly Slimming World and you'll flick through the magazine and you'll look at all the pictures and think, yes, I want that house, I want that kitchen, I want that body, I want to live here, I want to go to here, here, here and here, I want tropical beaches. And you cut and you stick and you all goes in your board and you think, yeah, I love that, looks great. And that is how most people make a vision board. So if that resonates, I'd love to know. Um, so, you know, so that's why most vision boards don't work. Step number one, that there's no preparation. There is no thought behind it. People literally just go and get these magazines, find um, gorgeous images of this dream lifestyle and whack it on a board and Bob's your uncle, there's my vision board. So that's step number one, um, because Okay, so let me just kind of unravel that a bit because there are lots of things that we think we want, but in order to really manifest the things that we truly want, these desires really have to come from your heart. I call them the heart's desires. When you get clear on your heart's desires, this is the time to make the vision board because often it's feelings that we want. It's things like connection. It's, um, you know, it's a certain feeling that you're going after. So, you know, ask yourself, you know, how is it that I want to feel? And, you know, what is it about those things? And those things may well be the things that you want, but try and kind of break it down to the feeling. And I think things like connection, purpose, love, um, they're very often the things that people want abundance, you know, to feel abundant, to have freedom um, in their lives and to and to wake up living a life that they love. And I think these are the things that people want. So really take some time to tune in to your heart's desires. You know, what is it your heart and soul really desire right now? You know, we've just come out or we're, we're coming out, hopefully, of this really strange lockdown quarantine period. And life is looking very different now than it was six months ago. And I think this whole period has given a lot of us some time to think about what it is that we want. Perhaps you've been furloughed from work or perhaps you've had time out of work. And perhaps, you know, you might not want to go back to your office job. And perhaps, you know, you've been given some time to think about what's truly important to you right now. So, you know, and I know a lot of people are feeling this way right now. So really connect with your heart and soul. What is it you really want right now? So the second reason why most vision boards don't want it's a continuation of the first thing. So I've just made some notes for myself here. You want the dream home, the body, the relationship, the career, the lifestyle, lottery win, the fame, the fortune, the luxury car, the tropical holiday. And because you want it all and you want it now, um, these are the very reasons that you're blocking these things from manifesting. Because I really believe the secret is to focus on one thing at a time. And I would say kind of maybe two or three at most where focus goes, energy flows. And if you're thinking, I want all of this bright and shiny, gorgeous stuff, there is absolutely nowhere for your focus to go. So 
and there's nothing wrong with wanting all of that you know trust me I've got most of those things on my vision board but I also have specific individual boards as well for short-term focus you know for my 90-day goals what is it I want to accomplish in the next 90 days yes absolutely make that incredible vision board with all the things you want the big vision picture but for the shorter term focus get super clear which area of your life needs the most focus right now and go all in on that one thing and I usually believe that boils down to your abundance levels you know do you need to work on your money mindset you do need to start earning more money do you need to open up more streams of abundance and income into your life or is it your health is it your health suffering your vitality is it your energy levels is that what needs most focus right now or it could be your environment you know our environments are so important does your environment support you as you move towards your vision um do you kind of love your surroundings and that's not to say i've got to get up and move and you know you know it's not like saying only you know when i make enough money then i will be living in my dream environment it's like what can i do today to my, make my environment amazing bit of decluttering getting some crystal energy in maybe a quick refresh or redecoration of some kind you know what can you do to make your environment amazing now or it could be your relationships that's the other fourth pillar i talk about the four pillars of your big vision um perhaps it's your your relationships that need strengthening right now perhaps you are ready to manifest that soulmate the um or you want to strengthen or improve your relationships with your children your co-workers perhaps it's even just looking for more supportive friendship circles in your life as well again that is something that's really really important so step number two is um the reason why most vision boards don't work is because there's not enough focus there is it's so scattered and people want everything straight away so i would recommend yes doing the big vision um big picture board but also focus as well get super clear on the area of your life that needs urgent attention right now that's number two so number three the third reason why most vision boards don't work is because you want it now you want everything like yesterday and you don't want to wait for it and you're really impatient about it now impatience is not an emotion that is going to support the manifestation of the things that you want the feelings that we need to strive for in order to create the perfect conditions for manifestation are ease and joy and expectation and also gratitude it's being grateful for what you have right now while being in a state of expectation um, and joy for what there is to come so being grateful for what you have now but being excited for what's to come as well that is the sweet spot for manifestation and then when you add doubt into the mix and impatience you know these are just feelings that are going to kill off the manifestation not kill off but really slow it right down so be really really mindful of your vibration when it comes to the vision board that you've made you know being impatient or doubtful about it is just going to block it all number four why most vision boards don't work is that most people when they've made their vision board is they expect these things to just happen Jim Carrey talked about it famously when he did his um, famous check that he talked about um, he carried around in his wallet for many years a check for 10 million dollars and he visualized being this Hollywood movie star um, getting paid 10 million dollars per movie and and he said you can't just visualize and then sit back and do nothing I think his words were you can't just visualize then go eat a sandwich and um, you know because a lot of people think you know I've made the vision board now I'm just gonna sit back and relax I'm gonna watch Netflix the universe can take care of the details thing is we do have to meet the universe halfway through our action we have to take some action towards our goals our dreams our vision you know I encourage my students to every day meditate on the question what can I do today that's going to bring me closer towards my goal what can I focus on today what is my next step you know uh, start your day asking yourself these powerful questions and obviously the members in my community they get access to a whole bunch of tapping videos to help with their vibration and to help um, to keep them in alignment with the vision 
so um you know what else have i written here yeah a lot of people they make the vision board and they just let it gather dust or sometimes you know even worse they'll hide it away because they don't want others to see their vision board now again what message are you sending out to the universe when you hide your vision board away are you a bit embarrassed about the the things that you want do you feel that you're asking for too much does it feel greedy does it feel like you know who am i to be asking for all this stuff does it make you feel not worthy and deserving? Remember, these are all vibration, vibratory signals that you are sending out to the universe. And, um, and as I shared in my webinar last week, um, I'd love to know, were you on my web webinar last week? Um, I shared the phrase, which I heard recently, when, which I love, that manif manifesting is just the physical evidence of a dominant frequency that you're experiencing right now so and that frequency is your thoughts and your feelings so if you've made that vision board but you feel a bit guilty or ashamed or you're asking for too much the universe is going to respond and say okay that's what we're going to give you but if you make that vision board and you're proud of it and you are willing to say i'm so worthy of this i'm so deserving of this and be feel really good about it then that is going to be the dominant frequency that you are going to be um, sending out to the universe. So really be mindful of what is the dominant frequency that you are sending out at any time, not just to do with vision boards, but in your day-to-day -day living. We are manifesting 24-7. Everything you're experiencing in your life right now is a result of your dominant frequency. Is it one of complaint? Is it one of fear? Is it one of worry? Is it one of anger? Or is it one of um, positivity, of expectation, of joy, of um, you know the not the knowing that good things are on their way to you? You know what is your dominant frequency, and you know what are the thoughts that you are putting out to the universe right now? Really, really pay attention to that. That is what I am so passionate about with my with my members of my membership community this is what i ask you to kind of to focus on every day what is your energetic frequency right now so that's number four that there's no action um you don't take action on not you personally watching but the people don't take action once they've made their vision board you've got to take action and the thing is that stuff on your vision board is stuff that i'm assuming you haven't got otherwise it wouldn't be on your vision board and in order to have things in your life that you've never had before you've got to do things that you've never done before and you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone you're going to have to do things very very differently so just bear that in mind and the fifth reason okay i'm gonna spend a little bit of time on this one because this is what the new program is all about and this is kind of my big realization my big aha this is why um i really um, I, I've created this process transformational neural technique and which is why I'm bringing it into the vision board process. Now us as human beings we've all lived very different lives we've had very different experiences and we tell and we have um, again back to the last step where I was talking about the vibration and the feelings that we're sending out is to ask ourselves the question you know what is the dominant story that's going on in my head right now you know what are the patterns and what are the limiting beliefs that have kind of I'm living over and over and over again in my life? You know, so I was in a group chat um, with some friends this morning and we were just talking about, you know, business and all that kind of stuff. And one of the members of the group said, I, I feel my old stories arising again. And I'm going to be discreet here. I'm not going to name any names obviously um but i'm just gonna talk about um yeah so i must admit i'm feeling overwhelmed and some of my old patterns are showing up so i then replied get really present to the old patterns can you give me an example what's the internal dialogue that's going on for you right now and then she replied why do i think i can do this um you know i don't know what i'm doing you know who's going to want to work with me um there's kind of old patterns and you know but she, she was acutely aware and and awareness is the first step to change so so you know when you have your goals and your dreams out on paper it's to ask yourself the question you know 
what stories am I telling myself that's blocking why I can't have the things I want? And I shared on social media over the last couple of weeks some of the old stories that were coming up for me when it came to my business and what I was doing. And it was, and again, very similar to what I just shared, you know, um, you know, who am I to be teaching this stuff? There's so many other amazing people, do, you know, a lot of what I'm sharing is not new stuff. You know, Wayne Dyer talked about it. You know, a lot of it you can even find back in the Bible. You know, this is not new stuff that I'm sharing. And then I get into that loop of, oh, you know, well, who's going to want to hear it from me? Who's going to want to read my book? Who, you know, is what I have to say that important? And then the whole kind of imposter syndrome thing comes on. And I realized that this was a pattern that I had been living over and over again since my teenage years from my days doing modeling um when i started my career you know as a journalist working the bbc i'd realized there was old sabotaging story that i was telling myself over and over again even up until recently i could feel this old story come up to the surface and the other story i'd had was that um it, it, yeah it was kind of around imposter syndrome but there was also stories I'd had around money that were really blocking me as well, that it felt greedy to want too much, that I should be grateful for what I've already got, which I, I am, can I just um, point that out? But also, you know, looking at how hard my parents worked for their money, allowing myself to make money in an easy and effortless way felt wrong because when I watched my parents worked hard for their money, so again, old stories I was telling myself about money. So. I've spent a lot of time working with myself and other practitioners and, you know, incredible people who I have as mentors in my life, reprogramming my subconscious brain for health. I'm, so, I'm a runner now. I've never been as fit and healthy in my life as I am right now. And I'm in the best shape that I've ever been in my life. Seriously, I have so much more stamina and strength now at the age of 44 than I did at the age of 24, seriously. So that's a reprogram that I've had to do for myself. Certainly around visibility and you know putting myself out there more in my business, let go of the fear, let go of you know what other people may think. Worry about what other people may think is such a common limiting belief that really it stops a lot of people from ever taking any action. It, so it's such a ridiculous fear. It's not ridiculous, I understand because I felt it myself, but it's one of the most freeing ones to release and um, let go of. Um, there are other things about not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy and deserving of having what your heart and soul truly desires. So many stories around limiting beliefs around money, and these are just things that came up for me. So I'd love to hear some of the things from you, you know, what are the stories that have prevented you from having what you want? Or, you know, you may even be getting aha moments right now as you're watching this, so, which is wonderful because awareness is the first step to change. So I've had all sorts of light bulbs going off in my head over the past couple of years um, as to why I've been limiting myself. And, and I realized through EFT, through telling a new story, through visualization, we can actually reprogram our subconscious brain to tell a new story. And when you tell yourself a new story, you are gonna get way, way different results in your life. Because the truth of it is that most people make a vision board and they don't believe in it. They don't believe it's possible. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe it's ever going to happen. And with every day that passes, um, you feel further and further away from that vision. And the excitement, enthusiasm that you felt after having first made the board has been replaced with disappointment, impatience, frustration and discouragement. And ultimately, you've got to believe in your board. You've got to believe in your vision. You've got to believe in your goals and your dreams. And this comes through reprogramming your subconscious mind for the vision for the future because most of us as human beings, we just keep going back to the past. We just go back in another cycle, in another loop. We just go round and round the houses 
and the universe will just keep giving us the same lesson over and over and over again. But when we cast that vision for the future and when we can reprogram our subconscious brain for the new story of what it is we want, then doors that were once shut will suddenly open. People will appear in your life who will help you on the next stage of your journey. Life just becomes more joyful and easier. You wake up feeling more energized. You have more confidence. You have more of a spring in your step. You go to bed looking forward to tomorrow and you wake up just literally feeling amazing because you've got work to do and it doesn't even feel like work because you're enjoying it. You're loving it. And, and, and I want people to really realize that there is no goal, there is no dream, there is nothing that your heart could possibly desire that is too big, that is too out of reach for you. But let me just take that back. It's got to be that you're something your heart really desires. And that is the key thing. If you want something enough and you're willing to do the work, but you're also willing to reprogram your subconscious mind to tell yourself the story that you can have and are so worthy and deserving of the things that you want, then it's like magic. It really is like magic how things just show up in your life. So um, as you can see, I'm pretty passionate about this topic. And what I'm doing is I'm doing a brand new program to, and, and what it is, it's a co-creative process because I, I, I need kind of, I need beta testers, I need guinea pigs to tell me, you know, it's, and it, doing this beta test with me, it's ultimately helping me to create this program, to create the content, but ultimately um, you're going to get to work with me um, in a way that people who buy the program at a later date aren't going to get access to aren't going to get access to me to do this it's going to be like a it's going to be a six week co-creative process we start off next week on and i've got the date wrong in my original post but i couldn't edit it on tuesday the 21st of july 8 p.m we're going to have the welcome call and i'm going to really kind of it's going to be a welcome get to know each other there's going to be a private facebook group and it's a six week pop-up group don't worry this is not be a group that's going to be going on forever this is just while the course is being created I know now loads of my members have come to join I'm delighted to have you there um, and it doesn't replace the membership in any way because the membership is just going to be a continuation of what we do um, in this course so um, I'm not taking my foot off the members community at all but this is because I'm creating a brand new program and and eventually I'll be selling this as a self-study course to help people to do this process and this journey themselves. So I'm going to be helping um, you all. Um, I've got a good idea of what most of these are already. Is the top 10 most common limiting beliefs that people have when it comes to accomplishing the things they want in their lives. And I'm going to be taking you through a transformational neural technique process for each of these limiting beliefs. And TNT, as I said, the acronym for transformational neural technique, is literally like dynamite to blast away these limiting beliefs and to reprogram your subconscious mind with the new more empowering belief so that you're clearing the path to your big vision. So there's at least 10 of these, there could well be more. And then on August the 18th, we are going to be making a vision board together live as a community, either in a Facebook group or on Zoom. I haven't fully worked out um, how yet but it's that live you know that group energy making the vision boards together and then afterwards it's going to be a couple more transformational neural technique processes to help you to embody to really hardwire that vision into your body and um, so that you can manifest even faster so it's going to be roughly a six week process together while we do the work, do the vision board, and we do the, these follow-up processes afterwards. And ultimately, it's going to be a brand new program, which I will then be unleashing to the world um, at a later date. So um, those of you in my members community and those who've made the vision board with me before, um, you've had separate communications because um, you get a discount. But for those of you who are brand new to this process, um, um, the cost, the investment to join me is £297. But you also get access to some 
extra additional bonuses, including um, tapping into abundance, my eight step money mindset program to help you. Oh, this is just amazing. I, I don't sell this as standalone product anymore because I've incorporated this into my membership but it's to help you to transform your relationship with money through letting go of your old money stories and to you know tell yourself a better story around money. That on its own I was selling for um, £397 last year. You get that included at no extra cost. You'll also get access to a Money Manifesting Masterclass which is 30 days to help you manifest a specific amount of money. Um, and you also, get one month's free membership into my community when you complete your vision board. That's kind of like the carrot I'm going to dangle in front of you. You've got to make your vision board. Without making your vision board, um, you're not going to get the value out of my members community because the membership community is for people who've made their vision board and who are working towards their big vision. So you get all those as additional bonuses. So the link is here. Um, so um, I will post the link in the comments afterwards. Actually, I might be able to do it now quickly. Can I do it now? Yay, there you go. There's a link there in the comments which you can click on. Uh, melaniemore.co.uk slash big hyphen vision hyphen board hyphen 2020. Um, yeah, not a long link at all. So there you go. I've just posted it there in the comments. Head on over to that link. You'll find all the details. And um, if you've got any questions at all about the program, please do feel free to send me a DM. Um, obviously, if you're joining live as a beta tester, it would be great if you can join as many of the live calls as possible. They will all be recorded, so you're not going to miss out on anything. There's going to be a Facebook group, and um, there is going to be lots of engagement and lots of opportunity to share and connect with one another. And you know, you're going to be helping me out by filling out surveys, questionnaires, and then you will also get access to the complete program once it's created as well. Brand new program. It hasn't even got a name yet, so I, I'm really looking for help with naming the program. And might, there might even be a prize for the person who comes up with the best name for this program. So I'm really um, excited to um, be launching this. Um, my brand new program it's the beta founding members launch we it um doors closed this friday that's my dog growling of course she always does it when i'm on facebook live um do you want to come say hello do you want to say hello no okay it's not the kids it's the dog um so yeah come and join me as a founding member for this program um it'd be wonderful to get to know you um, and I'm really excited about the co-creative process that's going to be taking place in this program. So if you've got any questions at all please do let me know. I'm so excited about this. Um, the details are in that link. I would also send a link to the webinar I did which is a bit of a longer version of what I'm talking about right now. And again if you've got any questions please do feel free to DM me and I'm so looking forward to getting started with you all next week. Um, if you've been watching live with me today, thank you for joining me and um, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.